Hey guys, welcome back. We are at Taco Bell. I'm so annoyed right now, so annoyed. So I have two gift cards from Ulta from Christmas. And I placed an order online and I couldn't figure out how to use, is all my food in here? I couldn't figure out how to use two different gift cards so I could only use one. So like the remainder of the one, I just went to Ulta. I pulled in at like two till seven. Apparently they closed at seven and the lady locked the door. Like if she would have waited till seven instead of two till, I would have been in the door to get what I needed real quick. So I'm like, whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna grab some food. The kids are with their dad, it's Thursday. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go get Taco Bell. I'm gonna try their wings, because I've never tried their chicken wings. Nope, they don't have them anymore. So, apparently today is just a big old F U. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm at Taco Bell. I have my coat on. I was gonna take it off, but then I'll freeze, because my car's off. So I got three crunchy tacos, add sour cream. Well, I got the meal, the number one. It's three crunchy taco supremes, but I had them do it without tomato. Um, and then I got, oh my god, all the cheese just fell out. And then I got two soft tacos. And then... A chili cheese burrito, add sour cream. I'll take it hot sauce, because that's like my new love on here. I should have got one of the flaming Hot tacos to try. I was trying to look at... Oh, that's hot. When they said they didn't have the wings, I was all thrown off because that's what I was planning to get. But I was trying to read like the different $5 boxes that they have. And the menu changes too quick. So. And this is what I got. I'm hungry. What a week. What a week. Crunchy tacos. I cannot believe Ultra closed at seven. Well, I was sitting there, another car, up, car pulled up beside me, and the man and woman got out. We got walking up. I'm like, if they go in, I'm gonna run in. But no, the door's locked. Seven. Well, I get it that it's a weekday, but seven. I don't know. That just seems so freaking early. Like a lot of people work nine to five jobs. Like give them time to get off work, change, maybe eat or feed their kids and then come out. Dude, you, are you gonna fit in here or what? On your big old truck. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on this. Hopefully I don't spill it. Are you serious? What the heck? 
Okay. There's me. There's an empty spot. And there's a car parked. Is in a tundra. They parked beside me. It's going everywhere. But at such an angle, I have no idea how those people on the other side of him are going to get out. No idea. Maybe he'll leave before them. Mm. I almost went to the Mexican restaurant because I went there a couple weeks ago with my sister. A couple weekends ago. This is literally all down my coat. Sour cream, hot sauce, whatever. Oh yeah, lettuce. So I went with my sister a couple weeks ago and we got flautas to try. Because <clears throat> Sweetie Snacker always eats them. Oh my gosh, they were so good. We got chicken and beef to try. But. My sister was just there again the other night. And she got churros. So now on the menu it says new. And it's churros. And it comes served with, I think she said caramel, chocolate, and honey. And whipped cream. What? So I didn't know they had churros. She said it says it's new. But they're like served on a plate with all those toppings. Mmm. so good. I'm freezing. <clears throat> hey Siri. Hey Siri. What's the temperature? It's 30 degrees outside. It's 30? It feels colder than 30. If it's 30, then it's warmer than it has been. Well, yesterday it was in the high 40s. Here in a couple of days, it's supposed to be in the 50s. Like 51. What? Set this hot sauce down. There's still some in it. I don't want it to leak. Only a little bit in there. Oh, you guys. So much going on. So much going on. It's so weird that I'm so lit up because I can't even see the street light. It was so high up, it's like above my car. <clears throat> Looking at my viewfinder, looks like it'll be shining right on me. Like, what? This is so good. Uh. I 
I'll talk to J Lo video to make sure the kids ate. He said, yeah, they had pizza, but he said Adri didn't eat. She never eats there. Well, she only likes pizza from a couple of places, but, well, maybe they didn't get, like, chicken tenders or anything. So, usually she eats chicken tenders. So they usually order and get like pizza, chicken strips. <clears throat> so maybe they just had pizza. So if that's the case, she could have like a rice cup or something at grandma's. I didn't know if they were going or not today. We never really talked about it. I texted him at well after three. I got home from picking Adrian from school. I told him I could really use a break after this past week, which would have been nice if he would have taken him. He's like, I can. He said, tell him to be ready when I get there. He's not taking them. When he left, he said, they're going to be home late. So we went ahead and filled out Valentine cards because tomorrow's their Valentine parties at school. What the heck? I don't know what is going on here. So that's all done. So they can come home, have a snack, and go to bed. Or if Adrian needs dinner, I guess she'll come home and have dinner. Okay, I don't remember if I put hot sauce on my soft tacos last time. I just got these regular. I didn't get sour cream on. As best as they are, this should have been like really fresh, but it's like falling apart everywhere. What the heck? Oh, what is going on? I should have got the flaming hot tacos to try. Or what, flaming hot Cheetos. Is that what it was, or was it just flaming hot? I don't know. Have ah no. Have you tried? I saw at the store. They have flaming hot um, ranch Doritos. Flaming hot cool ranch. I almost got them to try, but. I have so many things at home that I've bought to try for videos and I've never tried. <clears throat> Those, um, what are they? Lay's layers? Like a month or two ago, I bought the sour cream and onion to try. Never tried them. So yesterday on the way to Columbus, uh, at the gas station, I saw they had the cheese ones and the sour cream onion, like in smaller bags. I'm like, I'll just get them now and I'll try them on the way, on the hour and a half drive. No, still didn't try them. So I have those bags sitting at home. I also bought a fast break from the ride. Didn't touch it. Like, what is my deal? I was hungry too.
I'm like smashing these tacos. Just had three crunchy, one soft. Now I'm going in for soft number two. Oh my gosh, yesterday, um, <clears throat> Ellie doesn't have school on Wednesday, so when, hold on. That's bright. So we had to be on the road by like 12.30 to get to Columbus for Jax's appointment at Nationwide Children's Hospital. So we dropped Allie off at my mom's at like noon. And her and Allie went and picked Adria up from the school when she was out of school. While on the way home, from Columbus, my mom texts me. <clears throat> I'm like inhaling this. Making my nose run. My mom said on the way home, um, like they went through the stoplight, the route that we take every single day. I take it three times a day. They went through the stoplight, and um, like I drive an SUV. It's a Honda CRV. Jay drives a van, it's so like if I ever have his car, I'm driving a minivan. My mom drives an Acura, what is it, TL or whatever, so it's like it sits real low to the ground. It's like a smaller, like sporty type car. It's like a V8, I think. <clears throat> well, excuse me. Anyway, they got through the stoplight, and then there was a car like stopped with its turn signal on to turn into CVS. So my mom like slowed down and went around the, uh, ran, excuse me, went around the car because like the road's wider right there. Well, she said no. No sooner that she got past that car. And she heard this really loud crunch. I was like in shock. Like, oh my God, did someone just hit me? So my car didn't jerk, but what was that? The car behind my mom. Minivan. Apparently wasn't paying attention. And when my mom went around that car, it's like, she just... This lady with her kid in the back. Um, she wasn't paying attention and she just plowed into this stopped car. My mom said she saw in the rear of her mirror what had happened. So she turned around and went back to make sure everything was okay. I would make sure everybody was okay. The car that got hit went ahead and pulled into CVS, which was across the street. My mom went up to the van um, to make sure they were okay. So there was a kid in the way back, probably like eight or nine. And she said um, there were a couple other car seats, but she said the whole time she was there, the lady was on her phone, just like talking on her phone. And she said she didn't hear that kid say a word or didn't hear the mom say a word to that kid. Like not one word to him. She's too busy in front. So my mom's like talking to me like, are you okay? You know, it's okay. Like he was scared to death. And the the mom, um, or the lady driving, did say to my mom, um, my father-in-law's on the way. But my mom's like, and maybe she, you know, consoled him, you know, calmed him down before she got on the phone. But she said the whole time my mom stood, my mom stood there talking to that kid and making sure that little boy was okay. And um, until the police came, so my mom stood there talking to him. My girls were in the car, like watching out the window. My mom said she was trying to get the get the mom to let her take the boy to her car just to sit in the car so he's out of the back of the van that was just an accident because she's on her phone and he wanted to go sit in my mom's car with the girls and my mom <coughs> but the, just until the police came since i mean he's sitting there scared to death <coughs> she said the lady wouldn't even get off her phone to answer my mom <coughs> dang whether the whether the little boy could go get in her car so my mom just stood there at the window and just kept talking to him the whole time it's like why would that lady be on the phone the whole time? Like, okay, you tell somebody you were in an accident, tell them where at, and you hang up the phone and you make sure your kid's okay. So like I said, my mom stood there at the window talking to that little boy and just making sure he was okay until the police came. So then the fire trucks came and the police came. <clears throat> my mom said when she left the window, like when the police came, the lady was still on her phone. 
That's what she was probably on her damn phone, and that's what caused the accident. Mom said, well, she had to be pretty distracted because that lady was stopped with a turn signal on, like a gold-colored SUV. She said she hit him going pretty fast. I'm like, yeah, she probably wasn't. I said, it's a good thing you went out and around that car. I said, otherwise, she would just plowed right into you. And my mom's like, well, yeah, I never really thought about that. So she texts me, she's like, so I just keep thinking about that, you know, that would have been so horrible. What a horrible experience for the girls if I wouldn't have went around that car and she would have smashed into me. So because the girls were in the back seat of my car, she's like, the, she's pretty sure the van was going to be totaled out because the whole front end of that van is smashed. And she couldn't really see the damage on the SUV because it was across the street in the parking lot. But she said a guy went over there and talked to them. It was like two ladies in that vehicle. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. If she went around and that lady would have hit my mom's car. Or Adrian Allen in the back. My mom's trunk is like really short. It's not a real big trunk. So the back of her car is not real big. So it's like, thank God my mom went around that car. I mean, I feel bad for the people that the woman hit. But geez. My girls were in the back of that car. It's like, ever since I got an SUV... I, just, I don't feel safe riding in a car. They sit so low to the ground. They're just so, like, so small and compact. Like, this is an older Honda CRV, so it's not real big. But so it's up off the ground, and there's quite a bit of trunk space before you get to the back seat. So. I'm so glad. Because you said my girls were kind of shaking up because they heard it. And Adri said it was so loud, Mom. Dude, easy. him that long to get his food i feel like he was in there forever <clears throat> all right so all i have left is a chili cheese burrito with sour cream it's like oozing out of the wrap they didn't do a very good job what the heck i feel like they're slacking today it's oh i just went to dollar tree my dollar tree went up to dollar 25 when i was in there a couple weeks ago i asked them and they said they hadn't heard anything about going up to a dollar 25 and by golly they went up to a dollar 25 today well in the last few days. I still can't believe that so many of you cannot get the chili cheese burrito. I do Taco Bell. Mmm. So good. <clears throat> I don't even know why I'm taking bites of this. Hello. Come on. so full. Cool. Alright. <clears throat> Wrap this bad boy up. Take it home. Maybe Adrian will want to eat it when she gets home. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you for having Taco Bell with me on this Thursday. The restaurants here are like so packed, like so many people are out, but all right, I'll see you in my next video. It's about to stop. Bye guys.